Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm Lana. We're having a five minute break starting from now. And <laughs> today we're talking about something which has appeared on both of our blogs. Basically, it, there was a letter from a, a woman published a letter, a rejection letter she received from a man who broke up with her because he found her too fat. And she wrote a, she wrote a, a public letter back, basically shaming him um, for well, I think, his comments yeah. and I guess could, uh, affirming her sense right. of worth as, as a big person and, and her, um, her right to be found gorgeous at, at any size. And it, Which uh, she has every right. And she does. Know. But I guess we he both – has the right. And he, yeah, we, we both thought a lot about it and Lana wrote a piece about it. Um, and it's something that I struggle with a lot in the dating world as well, which is the idea that we do have types that we find attractive and unattractive. And I found it interesting that this man was shamed for um, not being attracted to someone who's overweight, whereas it's absolutely fine for us women to say, you know, well, I am not attracted to, for example, blondes or I'm not saying yeah. it's me personally but but women in general yeah. you find a lot of women online because I sometimes look at other women's profiles will not go out with short men I've often gone out with short men um I don't have an issue with that but a lot of women do it no one makes fun of them for that no one says it's and, it's, it's wrong to discriminate against think, men for being yeah. short and I think that this is becoming increasingly um you know visible basically because of internet dating yeah and so you know so many people do internet dating and it's almost like the new meeting at the pub or whatever. Absolutely. Was people, yeah. So and, and, and do like internet t- dating yeah. and, and Tinder and stuff like that, even on RSVP or whatever, any of those dating sites, you Which get a photo. Which is not on. <laughs> not on. Because I'm married. I'm not even on Ashley Madison because I'm happy to be married. <laughs> but, but your husband is. <laughs> but he's not as happy. No, that's right. He's not on. No, he's Don't not. look for him. I looked for him. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you, you the have only to way to judge, judge people, about yeah. it. You know, yeah. and also even if you are in real life, if you're because otherwise you're not in real life. But if you're at a pub or something, or at a party or something, yeah. you are going to be attracted to people who you find attractive. In Kerry's case, they're not always that attractive. But she never <laughs> like I've been attracted in the past to men who who would conventionally be called plain. They I guess <laughs> they wouldn't be clicked on. That's my particular taste. Um, but it's something that I really struggle with, as I said, because. I like to believe that looks aren't important and I actually feel incredibly guilty passing on someone, say on, on RSVP or, or wherever or eHarmony, um, that I, uh, whose looks don't resonate with me. And it's not necessarily conventional attractiveness or not. It's just there is often something about someone's and it's not face. Conventional attractive no, because yes. you aren't. But uh, there'll be something about someone's face that will just be like spark something in me that I think, oh no, I can't and, yeah, go and there. And I don't you because yeah. I say to her, go, go on the date. Yeah. And she says, but you don't imagine don't sitting opposite a person who you actually. Physically don't yeah. find and attractive. It, and it's not to say you wouldn't be their friend if you met them and yeah. you, you were introduced to them and you thought, oh, that's a really nice person. But to be attracted yes. to somebody, there has to be something in yeah. them. And we all feel that. And, and so Kerry's I mean, feeling lots of guilt because she I is, do. She is um, I do. sometimes and internet dating and it's hard it's, to find somebody. Yeah, and I don't like to say no, I won't date you because there is something about your face I really don't like or you're really enormous or you're incredibly tall. Yeah, like, or you know, guys tattoos all over your face and yeah, you and, might be a very nice man. But and I know a lot of people watching this will say, well, you've got to give them a go and you've got to push through that. And, and it's possible that I could meet someone online and I see their face and I think, no, for some reason that just – I, I don't like that face. And if I met them and spent a lot of time with them, maybe I'd grow to to Appreciate have an attraction. But how, but then you know, how what do you do? Do you do, yeah? How do you take that leap? And do you do you go out with everybody that you don't find attractive and and give them seven or eight dates and hope that something no, happens? Not or? seven or eight dates, one date because. Oh, you know, not even a date, but you actually have to converse with them online or of talk course. to them or something. But it is hard, and I do see what you're saying because if a man comes along and he's you know, I'm never. I've never been attracted to blonde men, yeah. and if I was single and some, you know, it would it would just be out of my comfort. And I zone. think there are a lot of women as well, women who who argue for you know beauty at any size, who themselves have slim partners and who wouldn't necessarily date a morbidly obese man. And I think that we're all, or, or maybe they wouldn't date an incredibly skinny man or an incredibly short man. I think we all have 
types that we're attracted to or not attracted to, and whilst they can sometimes be overcome, I think it's a natural part of attraction and, and, and we shouldn't be shamed for that, I guess, even though I sort of shame myself for it. I, I don't know. I'm not resolving anything, am I? How important are all looks to you, honestly? Let us know. Would you date Kerry? 